and welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources in this session we will be starting a new training that is NIFI also known as Niagara Files or uh, if you go for Hortonworks then it is known as HDF uh, Hortonworks data flow engine okay so we'll go into this uh, like and we will also try to install on the Hortonworks platform as well as independently okay and uh, these are the concepts which we will be initially discussing to get the introduce about this so before like starting let me show you this is the UI for the NIFI okay where we will be creating the data flow okay so let's introduce ourselves first with the data flow what exactly the data flow I'll not go through the content here like this is the all content I'll be going to covering okay so data flow engine is actually what e it's uh, all about the data processing okay one is a producer another is a consumer so when your data is produced okay so and this data needs to be transformed in any other form or whatever you want to uh, like from CS uh, like uh, let's say you are getting some log files and you want to create the CSV file or you want to create the JSON files or you want to create the XML file so this kind of transformation you would be doing and this you would be enriching this data if something is missing you can join with another data set and create and enrich the data if there is any issue with the data you will filter it out error and send it to the error log kind of thing if you want to do the data is correct and everything is fine you do apply your calculation and once the calculation is done you will submit in the repository and from the repository it can be further used for the analytics purpose like this is the graph we are creating a here kind of thing correct so that is what the actually the in general the data flow there are various other steps can be involved but it's just to give you an uh, like uh, highlight what exactly is the data flow and how uh, things works actually so similar kind of thing we can create into the NIFI this kind of workflow okay so this is completely different workflow but uh, like just to show you this is the how the workflow can be looked into the NIFI we will see like NIFI installation and creating the workflow and everything in advanced modules like as we move ahead okay so the producer system generates the data before consuming data various steps are followed it is not new requirement correct in the industry if you already know the business processing management BPM and workflow engine or integration tool from the Java J2 side if you have worked upon then you know this is at the very basic requirement and uh, ETL and kind of things you would be doing this thing correct so like why this new system is required NIFI for this like kind of existing solution are present and then why why we have to go for NIFI so there are some reasons correct every product is developed because some existing product either not supporting everything or because of competition competitive reason but here the clear cut reason the new requirements which are coming in the industry like internet of things millions of devices are coming and then millions of devices are sending the data and it will be sent to the one centralized location I will tell you in the some little time actually what I how IOT would be uh, like uh, or problems can be solved with the uh, NIFI okay uh, internet of anything okay this, this is like uh, other than sensors there are anything so other term for the similar things actually use volume of data obviously for that Hadoop is coming up and like Hadoop is already a decade old te decade old technology and very uh, like keep maturing every day new components are coming up with the uh, around the Hadoop framework okay uh, real-time analysis there are ag actually existing products are available to do the real-time analytics data provenance okay this is kind of the uh, terms you might be uh, listening first time so that could be a, like how the data is generated entire auditing about the data okay so you want to replay the data everything you want to do this so this is inbuilt out of the box features are provided by the NIFI so that's the reason and guaranteed delivery so this is most of the system obviously provide the guaranteed delivery but the problem is like the most of the system might be providing this all this uh, things actually but how complex is the configuration of what uh, you have to do this kind of thing so this all solution are out of box provided by the NIFI and it's very easy to configure as well so that's the reason the NIFI is becoming popular okay so what exactly is the NIFI NIFI is an orchestration engine for the data flow as I shown you here you can create as complex workflow as you want it okay so this is like very simple workflow with the three processor and two connections here but uh, I'll talk to about processor and connection in later on okay so it is a more 
powerful and take care of more requirements which we have discussed above it can be deployed on cluster environment as well okay so like most of the integration tool or business process management tool or workflow engines are like a single instance or something like NIFI uh, is can be uh, used in the clustered environment so having a clustered environment we have a lot of benefit correct you know like uh, this is like failovers and more data processing parallel processing is high kind of thing so various other advantages of using the NIFI in the clustered environment okay so common data flow challenges what challenges you face when you are working with the data flow engine system failures no system is fail proof uh, there there are various places where the system can fail network failure disk failure software failure human error correct so this has to be taken care into the system okay so NIFI provides such support for handling this kind of however you have to make sure like the how to use these features like this failure and kind of thing so NIFI is can be deployed in the cluster environment to avoid any disk failure software failure or network failure any kind of error or some other human error is there then you can record it what human error is there you can replay the things which you without uh, like correcting the human error and kind of thing so these all problems can be solved in the NIFI okay a producer is faster than consumer now let's say another problem now your producer is producing the data in the high volume and the consumer is consuming the data but the consumer is very slow compared to the producer producer is like pushing the data very high volume so what is the re, uh, cause out of this like you would lose the data out of this but the NIFI provides the connection buffer in between so the, if the data is not being processed by the consumers and it is consumer is uh, slow then there is a connection buffer that provided which can save your messages and can save the loss of the data in this case possible data loss if you don't able to provide so, so this is the out of the box functionality provided by the NIFI so you don't have to explicitly configure anything this is out of the box available boundary condition sometimes happens like you too big data you are receiving too small data too fast too slow wrong format of data so these are all uh, common problems in the data flow engine and this is taken care into the NIFI as well data priority changes now let's assume it like you were previously pro producing the data in the like your J2E servers correct or uh, the website is deployed and uh, it is e-commerce website let's assume it so initially you were only interested in the error locks or warning locks like the, if there is any error is coming or there is any warning then as a developer I will take care of this uh, logs and uh uh, and uh, look into the logs and could solve the problem kind of thing so th this was my previous requirement but nowadays what is happening like whatever the logs are being generated needs to be processed by the analytics team because analytics team wants to know like what the user is accessing which page the user is accessing we in which product it is in, uh, uh, like interest uh, he's interested in so he, they want to do some analysis and kind of thing and uh, recommend the products to the end user kind of thing so various other analytics can be done so for that purpose the now requirement has changed now priority has changed previously you were only interested in the error logs and warning logs but now uh, they are saying you are also interested they, they, like analytics team is also interested in info level log or debug level log trace log not debug actually trace and info level log so 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 how would you get it so your priority changes you need to have this log as well in the path actually so that is what the priority changes so it's a just a small change in the configuration and you can get the all the entire this log level or uh, different log levels okay so so that is uh, out of the box supported by the NIFI system evaluation previously there was no two so many sensors are sending the data kind of thing only few devices are there and you are pr like more purpose was like website hosting like enterprise solution and kind of thing but now the requirement is changing in the mo industry completely and en uh, entire industry is changing like uh, kind of thing in the like processing the data which is coming from the age location age location means sensors okay let me give you an example over here by the diagram okay so this these are the one of the logistic company which has a thousands of trucks or uh, more than thousands of trucks and each truck is running and they they are uh, delivering the logistic whatever is required correct uh, now the each truck is uh, uh, like having telemetric sensors installed installed on the each truck okay so this telemetric sensors what it does is actually it keeps sending the signal to the or uh, mobile tower and mobile tower to the uh, like it could be on the your data centers is can be received so this is one of the example like where the requirement is changing correct now the each truck is like uh, it's uh, just giving an example of thousand trucks there could be more devices such kind of thing a refrigerator in the uh, how your house actually correct keep sending the signal to the mobile tower and it goes to the data center okay so this kind of 
analytics would be done on the data like uh, if any brake failure in any trucks is happening any kind of uh, uh, heat is increasing or kind of anything can happen with this so this is the age location these are age location this is known as where the sensors are installed protocols are not supported to you like uh, they are like the devices sensors which are supporting only C++ kind of language or UDP so uh, data only kind of thing so, so now so this is not supported how this uh, would be supported so NIFI provides the solution for this kind of thing uh, they have created another project uh, up up uh, on the based on NIFI that is known as MI NIFI uh, MINIFI you can say MINIFI okay MI NIFI okay so this is for the uh, purpose of this age location and kind of thing we'll discuss about this later on on more detail okay so let's just just i'm giving you the uh, overview of about the knife five from the like uh, 5000 feet above you can say like uh, what is the purpose of knife five you can understand so massive devices like huge volume of devices and millions of devices are possible and signals are coming from the data is coming from the millions of devices so these were not previously whatever the tools you would be using for the workflow and data flow engine would not be supporting this kind of functionality that's the reason NIFI was involved introduce okay so uh, NIFI is also not new technology actually it is adopted by the Hortonworks and made it to uh, open source kind of thing but it was existing technology and it is privately used by the uh, National Security Agency actually okay and uh, we'll talk about the history as well so this is the how the this the sensor data would be sent okay compliance and security issue now uh, like if you are processing data from the various geography it's not only about your country or something correctly you have our uh, your uh, data centers which is receiving data from the various location or from the globally like one is data center in china one data center is in uh, india one data center is in us one is in europe kind of thing every data is being sent into the one centralized location correct but every country has their own rules and regulation their own compliance level you can say like china will say i don't allow this data to be sent outside of this, this country india is uh, like more open for that to innovation and kind of thing they are okay they are saying like you can unsend it the data for the further analysis kind of thing or they might want to restrict it this kind of data should not go out and kind of thing and from some various side to side data would be going and kind of thing so every country has their own compliance kind of thing so you should have a different configuration for the each data flow in each location Location. correct so this is very easily can be configured with the knife file. okay so new laws are keep coming agreement between businesses changes system interfaces keep changing previously it was supporting UDP now they are saying we are supporting HTTP so you have to change it kind of way. so this is all things can be supported with the uh, uh, this uh, what would say in the knife file. and it, it's even it is not supported then if you need to change the configuration then it is not very difficult task to change the configuration so that is all and data provenance required like this is auditing of the data and kind of thing how data is generated and everything so this is all now limited resources what I mean the limited resources very low bandwidth in the remote access intermittent bandwidth let's take this example these trucks are running okay in the globally uh, not globally it's in a country or in a city or something correct and you might see like sometimes the bandwidth are not there and uh, intermittent signal is there so because the you know like this is a not a, uh, uh, everywhere the bandwidth is not uh, very easily available or kind of thing correct so uh, so intermittent data needs to be able to send and support it kind of thing so this is uh, very well supported and uh, this is what the data flow also face the challenges when the data is not come continuously receiving so this kind of problem is also solved and can be handled using the knife so this is all about the data flow challenges so what NIFI is NIFI is previously known as Niagara files okay it is a simple event processing data flow engine as we have discussed this is like what your data would be generated from here from this to send if there is any error then would be sent to this if there is any for uh, data is successful to process then it would be sent to this direction so this kind of thing I, it automates the movement of the data between different system it's not about just processing and writing the some small entity and processing the data it can connect with the different systems okay so you can create the different processor or adapter you can say like to support your uh, like data from the various other hardwares to be getting the data into the system okay uh, handle all the situation and manipulate uh, mentioned above like whatever the problems we have discussed about the data flow that can be handled in the knife file entire data flow you can design 
on the just single web UI that is known as a canvas okay so this is the canvas on which you would be designing your as complex workflow as you want it okay so this is very simple UI to look into this and once you get acquainted with this then it would feel more uh, uh, like comfortable you would be having keep in mind NIFI is not a replacement of message bus like Kafka okay we'll discuss about this on more detail about while comparing the Kafka and everything NIFI can be a Kafka uh, NIFI can use Kafka as a producer or a consumer okay as a source and sync or something so so that's all about uh, NIFI and data flow okay so like uh, I'll discuss about this uh, NIFI and HDF and everything uh, in the next session so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session this is the first session uh, regarding the NIFI and we will be as moving ahead I uh, will be uh, going in depth about the NIFI will be create the simple workflow then complex workflow and then deploy in the cluster mode and kind of thing and we also try to deploy into the Hortonworks play platform uh, this knife by okay and uh, various other things we will be keep doing actually okay so so please follow up with the all the training videos and uh, we are keep adding new videos so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you are watching uh, uh, on the YouTube then please subscribe don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube as well because we are keep launching the free sessions as well and uh, if you are like uh, uh, want to subscribe and get the email alert while like anything update happens from the Hadoop exam site you will be receiving the update so just click on the subscribe button and subscribe over here and send your email ID and uh, user uh, email ID and name into the form and we will send you the updates regularly so these are other products from the Hadoop exam dot com please keep visiting we are keep updating every day uh, kind of thing uh, okay so uh, it would be helpful for your career development thank you